Good day. Thanks for joining me for another coffee jam and a chat. <clears throat> so a lot of people wonder about the cross. And um, I did a video about this before in symbology and what it meant for me completely from my heart. And um, um, I I was listening to a podcast with Jonathan Peju, I think his name is. I'll put the podcast down below. It's a really interesting conversation. But uh, what I um, came to me very intuitively was that um, with the rosary, having the, the uh, Mother Mary... Who, is, who is the Divine Mother being right over my heart and having the cross that dangles down towards my manhood. And where, so I see like the Divine Mother is that always loving and the Divine Father is like the ability to take the dragon, which is your, your sexual energy and put it on a chain so you can use that uh, strength for greatness. And so... A lot of people be like, isn't it uh, symbolic of, of uh, you know, sacrifice? And of course, so that's the other thing is a man that can get his his sex under control be, can, can become a higher um, actor for God in this world, which means you can go out and be the hero's journey, you know, it'd like stand right to your death behind your truth. You know what I mean? And you got to have cojones to be able to look demons in the eye and stand behind your truth. And and the other thing is, is a lot of, of poetry and art and music and stuff is it, when it sounds like it's being written for a woman and in love, you it really is written for God, especially more ancient um, stuff. There's a lot of, they're talking about in the podcast that I was speaking about and um, so <clears throat> I have a song that's, um, that is written in this way that it's, um, like refinding love and men actually look to better themselves a lot of times if they, to the most per perfection, uh, or the idea of perfection in a woman. And so, you know, that's what can motivate a man to become better. Well, uh, the truth be told is that 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 woman up there, that perfect ideal of a woman is based in God. So this is a song that you could write about a woman. That, that God has given me this song, but it is actually about about God himself, and you can call it, uh, if you want, God is, is sexless, obviously, but there's parts of, of God that are feminine and masculine, if you want to break it down that way, just for symbolic reasons. So, um, this song is called Lay in the Sun. Thanks again for joining me in this coffee jam.
You know, I never knew my skin could still burn. I uh, traveled to New Zealand when I was 18 and 19, and I experienced God, and He sh showed me all this creativity, all this love, all this connection to people and to the earth, and. Uh, uh, I didn't realize what I was experiencing and I stood in that sun and I basked in it in that glory and I was burnt every time but at least I, I felt that warmth you know and um, when I came back here kind of got washed into you know running a business and building a, a life which you have to do I believe we have to go through times of 
of freedom and creativity and and let's say um, the right brain or the feminine spirit then there's times we have to go into the to the left brain get some stuff done buckle down and work hard spirit of the masculine and uh, I went into that masculine spirit for quite a long time and uh, and uh, you know went through a lot of pain a lot of things that pulled me away from God and when I discovered God again this is when I was given this song and so you know I think we have to we have to sometimes just be patient sometimes when we're in those waves and when we start to experience life really really try to notice that where that came from because that'll sustain that feeling and uh, now that I know what that is and what I'm connected to I know how to stay more connected and not fall into those disconnected states and I know what kind of things disconnect me and I know that putting God above everything allows me to be more powerful because you know uh, we can be have the power taken away if this song was for a woman then a very godly man that can lose his power through a song like this if you if you had that much passion and that much love for a woman and that woman had the Jezebel spirit in her then that could be the downfall of a great man so we should these songs should be for God you know and and God is what brings a godly woman to us so that's who we should be thanking God is the creator of all of this so thanks again for joining me for another uh, coffee jam and uh, everybody have a lovely day and it's a uh, it's going to be winter soon, and so get out there in nature and feel and experience God and know where it comes from. And uh, and notice the things in your life that pull you away from that feeling and see how you can mitigate those, you know. Anyways, much love and God bless. <laughs>